What is going on everybody? Today we're going to go over the one year review of the Boat Rackham Paddleboard. This is the 12.6 and up left I will leave, uh, what is it left on the screen? Somewhere over here. I'm going to leave the review from where the board where I just picked it up and how I set up for fishing but today we're just going to go over my thoughts on the board after one year. So let's get going. Just a quick call out. I'm not sponsored by a boat. They didn't give me a board. I've got nothing from free from them. I have no contact with them. So this is a very unbiased review. First, we're gonna start with the pros. And the biggest pro that I have found after fishing on a bunch of paddle boards is this rail right here. Uh, maybe you can't see it because the sun, right there. So when the water comes up on the deck, this deflects all the water down. So this direct right here stays super, super dry. And I freaking love it. It is super nice to not have waves and water coming in. Uh, partially what helps with that too is this, sorry it's all dirty, but look at that bow and that bow flare. Awesome. It pushes water out so, so well when you're cutting through the chop, you're cutting through the waves, uh, especially if you're going through areas that have lots of boats and stuff going by. Another major pro on this board is this paddle sheath. I use it all the freaking time to hold my paddle while I'm fishing while I'm just standing around, hanging out, wherever. It holds the paddle so well and it keeps it out of the way and right in your like reach. It's just an amazing feature. Um, all the straps on board are great. They get used all the time. They're front and back, which you really need on any fishing board. Awesome. This board is super thick. You can see the back tail is really wide. Uh, and that just equates to it being super, super stable. You can see that I even have my bottom fin cut in half. And that's because a lot of the times I'm fishing on flats where the water is only about six inches deep. And the regular fin would catch. So I put, I cut the guy, this guy down to about six inches. Uh, yeah, four to six inches. And this allows me to fish in really shallow water. Even with that cut fin, this board is crazy stable. So watch this clip real quick. This is the closest that I've fallen into the water on this board. And it actually just happened about two weeks ago. <laughs> oh my. Falling down, missing fish, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, I, I oh. <laughs> That is the closest I've ever gone into the water. So another pro on this board is the material. It's made out of gator shell or something like that is what they call it. Uh, you can see this board has it. It's written right there on the side, gator shell. So what that means is it's stupid strong. Now I beat my boards up pretty hard. So you can see this little white cracking that's from dropping the board uh, multiple times. This thing gets beat up. I fish this probably once or twice a week. So you can see minor cracking from that big drop. You can see on the corner, like almost nothing. Like nothing. I mean, a little scratch there. And if we come all the way up to the front of the board, you'll see that's my biggest chip. I don't know if you'll be able to see that super well. That's not much. That is not much considering I launch off the rocks. I launch off of... Uh, boat ramps. I pushed this thing through the mangroves, everything. I drove it across the country. Um, I ride straight up onto the beach and you can see there's almost no damage on the front of this board. That is amazing because my old aisle board, I had cracks up and down it on the nose, on the rail, on the tail, on the deck, cracked it like crazy. So this board itself on the outside is holding up very, very well. So with every pro, there is a con. So the cons that I'm finding with this, uh, Boat is kind of known for delamination on their um, graphics on the deck. I've had none of that. So my board has been amazing in that department, but what I have had is delamination of my pad. So you can see all these little black squares, they've all just kind of fallen off. Uh, I've got it there, I've got it there. It's kind of over there. Oh, I just knocked one off right there. So they're just kind of coming off. Now, to be clear, I store this board outside, but I store it covered. It is 100% covered out of the elements, but it is outside. It's not getting sun on it 24-7, so I would not expect these to come off like that. Um, I'm also seeing it kind of on my deck. You see that deck right there? It's come up a little bit uh, on my deck right there. Now, this doesn't affect the board. It doesn't affect my fishing. Uh, it's only aesthetic. So if you're okay with that, you're still in the great 
this thing's awesome. But I've had some other issues that I do not like. So the first big issue, and you know what? You're not even gonna be able to see it because I'm gonna have to stick my finger in all the way back in there. I got a leak in my board and it's, you can actually see some water in there right now. Hear it? So that water is leaking out of my board. Uh, inside the handle, somehow it leaks, it just leaks. And it's quite annoying because if I'm out there fishing and there's water inside the handle, you can see or hear air bubbles coming out because instead of using um, the vent cap, so it has a Gore-Tex vent cap right here, instead of venting out of here now, it vents out of there and it makes a little bubbling sound. Again, this doesn't affect the performance of the board. It's just kind of annoying um, and frustrating. So I mentioned how Boat is kind of known for their graphics delaminating. Well, I ended up having the whole skin of the board delaminate. Now, I fish on this board, like I said, one to three days a week, and I do use an anchor. My anchor goes through the anchor holes. And you might be able to see it. There's separation between the board and the deck now. See that little black gap? What happens is that collects water between the skin and the board and it did it on this one and it did it on this one. Now this one I have epoxy that you can kind of see my epoxy coming out the side and it's holding all right but on this side the epoxy's come undone. Bummer. So that lets water in, it makes the board a little bit heavier, but overall performance wise, I haven't noticed anything. It still paddles amazing. This board paddles amazing. I do eight to 10 miles a day on it without an issue. That's with my gear, with my rods. This is by far the best paddling board I've ever had. So yes, it's annoying that it delaminated right there. And yes, it's annoying that it gets a little bit of water in. Yes, it's annoying that it gets a little bit heavier to carry. I would imagine my board is somewhere in the 50 to 55 pound category right now. It's quite heavy to lift on top of my car. But all said and done, this board still paddles better than any board I have. Uh, I also have a Boat HD. This board paddles better than the Boat HD. This board has a drier ride than the Boat HD. It's more stable than the Boat HD. Um, so. Those are kind of the pros and cons that I've seen on the board right now. Um, again, it's super stable, even with the cut fin. The material is darn, darn strong. Um, I've dropped the board, like I said, a few times. No major scratches, no major dents, but it does have the leaking on a couple different spots and the deck pad coming off. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you've had any of these issues or you've seen any other issues on the boat HD, uh, the boat Rackham, or any other boats. I'd be interested in trying other boards too. If you think there's a better paddle board out there that I should be fishing off of, let me know and maybe I'll pick up one of those after this guy's dead. Unfortunately, I think this board, or not unfortunately, but very fortunately, I think this board has many years to come to keep fishing on it. All right, so I know that was a kind of a quick uh, one year review on this board. So I really wanna hear from you guys. What kind of questions do you have about the boat board, whether it be gear, stability, paddling speed, distance, uh, durability. Let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to answer all of your questions. Uh, I'm super happy to. And uh, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys back out on the water next time.